Hello, I'm Len Crispino and I'm President and CEO of the Ontario Chamber of Commerce. And I want to welcome you to this short discussion with me. It is our 100th year anniversary. I want to share a little bit about who we are, where we come from, and where we're going. This organization was created some 100 years ago, uh, more specifically 1911. And it was actually a grand time when we had the first transcontinental flight. We had a gold rush that was taking place in northern Ontario. We had the first uh, commercial telegram that went across the world and at that time what seemed to be lightning speed of 16 minutes. Obviously things have changed since then. 45 visionaries across this province. 45 people that ran local chambers across, across various parts of, of the province who began to reflect on the idea that they needed to begin to work together. They realized that their own issues were no longer just small regional issues, that roads didn't start or end in their particular city, so that we had to take a much more of a pan-Ontario approach. So these visionaries, they got together and decided to form a provincial organization. So we're now very much involved in areas around uh, tax reform. We're very much involved in making sure that we have a sustainable health care system. We're very much interested in the welfare of Ontario from the standpoint of its role in Confederation through ensuring that we are still able to get our fair share within the Canadian Federation through the fiscal arrangements that uh, were born out of the Canadian Constitution. So while perhaps the nature of some of the issues has changed, we have still remained very close to who we are in terms of our core business. We still represent the interests of our business community in a forthright fashion, in a way that tries to instill a notion that we are all part of the solution in this province from an economic standpoint. It is not just about government, but it's about all of us being able to work together. And so this was the concept that was developed back in 1911, and it's the concept that is still very much alive today. So where do we go from here? Um, I think our past will serve us well, but we also recognize that change is constantly around us. So we need to not only adapt, but I think we also need to forge the future and to be able to be providers of thought leadership and leadership overall to ensure that this province continues to be a leader within Confederation, but a leader in a global sense as well. It's also dawned on us, I think we're in a new evolution where we also recognize that we all have a collective responsibility for this province. So it's not just about government, but it's about us. It's about us as an organization, an organization of thought leaders who I think can help pave the way for growth, pave the way to ensuring that this province remains a global leader. Our organization, I think, has played a tremendous role in profiling the importance of our business community. But I think, in one sense, I believe that we're beginning just to scratch the surface. I think it's really important that we, first of all, begin to recognize the strength of our network, that it's really by us, all of us, working together that makes this organization strong. It is not the Ontario Chamber of Commerce is nothing without the 160 local chambers and boards of trade right across this province. And I am very, very positive about the future of this organization. And we look forward to helping this province, along with you, to continue to foster for the next 100 years.